Just look at that, more of the ceiling coming down. It's literally everywhere. They do not hoover these stairs. Look at the hair, the dust on it. Let me know in the comments what that is. Just look how filthy it is. The stains on the sheets, a wheelie bin. I'm sure this is supposed to attach to something. One I can't open. The floor is absolutely disgusting. I don't want to really walk around in here too much. The enamel of the bath is actually coming off. In other hotel reviews, they've always said shining comes to mind. But if you don't like heights, don't come up to the top floor. The Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool has been getting some pretty bad press and bad reviews recently, with people complaining about long check-ins, saying give this place a wide berth, and disgusting, I had to go and check out the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool. So I'm just waiting to check in because there's a, a long queue at reception. I think they do a lot of coach tours here, so uh, there's a bit of a wait. So I thought I'd come into the bar, have a drink. I was about to say, the sofas are quite nice. And then I saw the grime on it. Hello, just check in, please. Hello, new address on here with the postcode and your signature. Okay, thank you. You check out this 10 o'clock tomorrow. Your room, room number is just on there. Thank you. Okay, that was a bad idea. Choosing to go up the stairs rather than the lift. But uh, I thought it actually might be quicker, which it probably is to be fair. So on 467. Again, this marble is everywhere. a little bit odd. Something my nan would have in her house. There are the bedroom doors. And here is my room. Number 467. Now first of all, I'm not in one of those doors that have the, uh, the windows knocked out of them. I'm in what looks like, from this point of view, a cupboard. But we'll see what the room is like inside. Here's my key. Putting it in this way obviously doesn't work, but it works when you turn it upside down. <laughs> there you go, green light. Oh, it opens out. That's unusual. Hey. That's weird. So I've just opened the door to another door. Is this a slide door? No, another door. Security door then. Um. Hang on a second. Right, I'm just checking. This is 467. And it says here, 467. Am I, have I got something wrong here? Giving me a key to somebody else's room. So that's not great. I've got to go back downstairs and find a room that's clean. Imagine if it was a couple in there and I'd have walked in on them. You hear that hum? There's like a really loud like, hum. I guess it wouldn't be a good idea to put my finger in there. This doesn't look too bad. I've been chewing up all over for. Lower floor. Excuse me, the room you've given me, someone else is in it. So they give me another room, and let's try it again. This time I'm in 106. The door looks nice. Let's put this in the right way. What's going on down there? Oh, okay, so we don't get a double door here. Hang on a second. This looks a lot nicer than the room that I just walked into. Let me just shut the door. 
paid for a very bulk standard room. But what they've given me now, oh my god. That is what you call a lot of headroom. Wow. Now, let's just quickly rewind and see the room they would have given me, which looked awful. They've now put me in this room. I don't know if they think I'm filming or not, but uh, it's pretty grand, very roomy. Obviously, they've put me in a, uh, a twin room now rather than a, a double bedroom. I don't understand why there's a sink here, though. What's that about? That's pretty random. Nice, pretty big wardrobe. I don't understand. Oh, it's a twin room, so that's why I've got... <laughs> wow, this bathroom. It's like a dorm. I remember once going to see a friend at university in a bathroom like this. I mean, let's face it, this is a very old hotel. And these rooms obviously do need a bit of TLC. What's not overly nice when you come into a hotel is finding horrible blue gaffer tape on the floor. Not overly that nice. And this kind of um, MDF little wooden table. Have I got a view though? Let's have a look. Oh no, what the hell? Okay, that's broken. But this is my view. I can see the street below. Am I at the front of the building? I think I'm at the side actually. But yeah, that's a little bit, um, that's broken, isn't it? Okay, well, I'll just leave that there. I've got lovely, clean, white, fluffy towels, which is definitely a bonus, because I've been reading on TripAdvisor, people going on about the stains and stuff like that. But these towels, they look um, brilliant. Obviously, someone left the toilet seat up. Checking out the bath again, same problem as I've had in other hotels. In fact, is that the enamel of the bath is actually coming off. And this, I can feel this in the, all the enamel is coming off it and this would actually really hurt if you're um, sliding around in there. I guess I'll just have a shower. Is that the enamel coming off the bath here as well? I have to say, there's no mold on the shower curtain, which is a good start. The floor is absolutely disgusting though. I mean, it really is filthy. I mean, like, I don't want to really walk around in here too much without uh, some shoes on. The facilities of the bedroom, we've got a kettle. And again, that looks pretty grim. At least I've got my bag of tea and coffee that I can take home. Coffee cups, they look good. I really can hear the street outside as well, people are shouting. Well again, it's not the uh, cleanest of, uh, well this is not even a window is it? It's like, a, it's like a, well it is a window actually, shielded. But that uh, window has not been cleaned in like forever. I mean there's condensation, dirt. It's not the cleanest is it of windows, far from it. So the fireplace, look at this. This is amazing to have in your room, an actual fireplace. Cast iron as well. I mean, the history of that. If you can see that, look at that. That is a piece of history right here in this room. Absolutely amazing. I think maybe there was once a photo or a picture on that wall. But I don't know, maybe this is an old fashioned thing, but I don't get the sink there let me know in the comments let's try the beds out they're all right they do seem rather comfy champagne please room number 467 oh hang on that was the room that you originally gave me no now i'm in 106 thanks bye it's got a little bit of an info card here as well the grand lounge is open daily between nine and five offering a traditional afternoon tea and cakes really looking forward to going to check out the grand lounge because i've heard some amazing things about it not bad room to be honest, at least the uh, the carpet is clean. But here, obviously if I was with my wife, uh, she could do a makeup. There's a drawer here with, there's no hair dryer in there. Um, this one I can't open because there's no handles on it. And uh, yeah, love the bits of makeup, scratches all over it. And I think, and I hope that's makeup rather than the sh word. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's, uh, there's stains on the sheets. 
Obviously they need to be put on a hot wash. I've found the hair dryer. I'm sure this is supposed to attach to something. There's no remote, so I won't be able to uh, watch the TV unless I can turn it on manually, which I'm sure I can, can I? There you go, I can turn it on manually. Foundation. So let's go and check out the rest of the hotel, shall we? Again, it's a bit weird that this doesn't have that extra door on it, hence why there's a bit of a sound problem. I can hear literally everybody walking. I know these are only fire doors, but they've definitely seen better days. Seems like someone's kicked that in. In other hotel reviews, they've always said Shining comes to mind, and OMG, it so does in these lifts. Right, let's head downstairs. Is that somebody's room there? Right by the lift? That's really random, isn't it? Look at that, you can see how old this hotel is, look. The air holes. I'm sure that's for air holes, ventilation. Let me know in the comments. Look at the entrance you come into though. Absolutely amazing, it's like time has stood still. And of course the grand lobby. Let's check this out. Wow. So this is where you can come for afternoon tea. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Check out those chandeliers. They must take forever to clean. And the bulbs to be replaced. And the ceiling and the roof is just incredible. Mix of old and kind of new furniture in here. But you can come here for afternoon tea. Look at this. Does it work? It does. By the way, I can do the EastEnders theme tune. Are you ready? You're welcome. Wow. Now obviously back in the heyday, this was the grandest hotel in Liverpool. And really randomly, they've got a bar area in here. They're obviously just storing some kind of extra bar in here, random. The attention to detail is amazing. Just look at those faces up there. Again, these stairs have seen better days. So is this door. Look at the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. I mean, the paint's cracking and everything, but... Again, looks like the floor hasn't been hoovered for a while. I guess, is this like a function suite? It must be. Wow, I guess this is a function suite. Again, the chandeliers, they look totally amazing. And also the ceiling, just look at that. It's almost Moroccan, isn't it? Look at the lights. So, again, if ladies want to go to the toilet, they'd have to come this way from the grand room that was just in. Look how opulent this is. This is absolutely beautiful. Love the wallpaper. Getting an uh, Asian vibe with it. I love the, uh, the letters there. Look at that. So that's where the ladies would go. A bit of a random place for the toilets to be. I love these old lights. Look at that. I mean, the upkeep to this hotel is pretty immense. I mean, if you look up, you can see parts of the ceiling again, unfortunately just coming down, but I guess that's what happens. And randomly some leather couches just here. There's more of the ceiling coming down up there. Can you see that? Okay, this is messing with my mind a little bit, right? This is all mirrors as you can see, and then there's two, there's two glass panels here. They're obviously uh, refurbing that room at the moment. Again, absolutely amazing. I think they've just laid this carpet, they must have done. Not really in keeping with the rest of the decor is a uh, 
a wheelie bin, <laughs> which doesn't really look that nice. That light's completely bust. And uh, although it looks like they've been doing some, some work up there to the ceiling, because obviously this must take a lot of work to, uh, to keep it up. So these are the toilets from the uh, that grand room which people are using. Brand new carpet, smells good. Why is there a traffic cone? Oh, that's the room I was just in. <laughs> Why is there a traffic cone there? Oh, the lights have just come on. Let's go down here. The lights here are hanging off the wall. That does not look very good. Again, I think that's uh, problems with damp. Kensington Formby. Oh, it's another function room. I thought they'd have locked some of these doors. Obviously they've been painting here though, but someone's got, <laughs> got some paint over the carpet. Another room here. Wow, there's just so many like little conference rooms everywhere. So obviously for these conference rooms and uh, stuff like that, the toilets, that is a long way to the toilets. If you're a bit claustrophobic as well, very narrow. Nice to see a bit of the ceiling coming down. Again, I get this strange feeling that they've not hoovered in a long while. Now I'm sorry to say, you don't want to see that in a hotel, do you? Just look how filthy it is. Look at this. That is a piece of history right there. That's really random, it's just there. Is this bit of the hotel being used? I don't know because there were stairs, but look at the door. I don't think that's being used. Or well, it could be. I'm over the other side of the hotel now. It is being used, I can hear people in their rooms. Look at that, another piece of furniture that must be how many years old? Nice to see dirt all up the walls. And again, Needs a bit of a paint job. They do not hoover these stairs. Look at the hair, the dust on it. Let me know in the comments what that is. I wonder if you have ever been lucky enough to stay in the executive suite. Because new carpets, not a new door and a light that's bust. Just look at that, more of the ceiling coming down. It's literally everywhere. That can fall on people's heads. Now this looks nice. Again, random old furniture just put in random places. I think this is uh, for like a wedding. So for all the bits that are falling down, these bits are very nice. Look at that. This is another grand room in here. Is the door open? Yeah, it is. Just gonna have a quick nose. So anyone can just literally walk anywhere in the hotel, which is kind of cool because uh, it's great to explore, isn't it? So I'm now walking up, look at that. Walking up to the Empire Room. Again, old furniture everywhere. Ah, oh, this looks nice. So that's the suite we was just in. I take it that's the Empire Room. And here is a nice, uh, what would you call it, chaise lounge? Not even that. Drop in red wine. I wonder if this is open. Can we have a nose? Oh, it is. What? What is this about? I feel like I'm in the Masons. Look at this. Incredible. I feel like I'm in a movie set or something. Please let me know what this room is for in the comments. <laughs> I don't want to be cheeky and go on the stairs because I don't think I'm supposed to be in it, but the door was open. I guess I better just push it too. 
So the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool, is it worth coming here? Definitely. Is it steeped in history? Yes. Is it amazing to walk around and see the past? Absolutely. What are the rooms like? Well, my first experience, obviously, they gave me the wrong room and I could have walked into someone naked. In fact, I'm glad they never gave me that room because even though I paid for a single room, that was not the best room at all, actually. It looked horrible. This room's a twin room. It's very nice and roomy. Soundproofing is a little bit of a problem. All right, there might be a few slight stains on the sheets, but nothing that a good boil wash wouldn't sort out. I didn't overly like the bathroom floor. I wouldn't really want to step on that after coming out of the shower. It would have been nice for some kind of, um, I guess I'd have to put a towel down, but seeing gaffer tape on the floor in the bathroom is probably not that great. But I paid 39 pounds to stay in an amazing hotel with such history, I think it was definitely worth it. I like to give light and shade on my reviews. I don't like to focus on the bad stuff. It's a big hotel, the upkeep and the cost to do that must be extortionate. Yes, parts of the ceiling, as in other hotels that I've seen, is coming down, could probably be a bit of a health risk. It was amazing the fact that you could just walk around and just check out the hotel and uh, the history and stuff like that. I wonder if this hotel is haunted actually. And if you wanna see more worst rated videos, click here. Give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already, click the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.